<laughs> what kind of cheap game development is this? You couldn't make a, a shelf with some tools on it? Your shelf is just a... You just use the, the same thing as the anvil to... What? I can't even make... I, this, this is ridiculous. What's up, guys? I'm Vortac, back once again in Eco on the Gang Z server, where today we're finally checking out the Alloy Skillbook. That's right. We now have access to the Alloy Skill Scroll, and there we go. I now know how to make things with alloy, or make alloy, or whatever it's... However you're supposed to say it, that's what I know how to do now. So, <laughs> so what I'm going to be doing is kind of checking out the skill, what we can do with it. And I got really lucky because Biffa actually was looking to do this as well. So Biffa was the one who did the research, spent all the points, and now I can benefit off of his hard work. Which seems to be kind of what I do in this game. Just benefit off the, uh, the hard work of others. So because, you know, I'm a horrible person... We'll, uh, we'll just take it, and we won't even say thank you. The other big project I have going on right now is making a bunch of ingots for my store. Now, I'm actually making like 90, I want to say like 95 ingots with only 40 ore. That's crazy. That's how good my efficiency is. We definitely don't need to be putting points into that. Uh, speaking of points, we still have research to do. We're not off the hook yet. Going into smithing, uh, I now know how to get into alloy smelting. And level one will get us charcoal, which is exactly what we want. So let's put 10 points in there. And we can research charcoal burning speed, which is cool. We can also research steel smelting speed. Now I'm going to need alloy smelting two to get that. Let's do that. But I'm not going to spend any more points because one, I can't afford that anyway. But two, I need to save those because last time I kind of jumped the gun and put myself in a bad spot. So, okay, good. We have alloy going. We need to figure out what the heck we have to use to make the charcoal, and I believe it starts in the anvil. If we come into here, we can kind of go down to the blast furnace, which requires steel working and a, uh, a smithing tool shelf. Where is that? That's right here. I'm going to need 10 boards and 10 ingots. Interesting. Okay, I believe I actually have all this stuff. Moving it into here is going to be fun. But, uh, yeah, I do have that. So, ooh, 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 before I actually screw up, let's, uh, while this stuff is cooking, I'm just going to, like, pop those into there. And now I'll start a new stack of iron. And hopefully I, I can get there in time for just four ingots to be in there and then move them into the anvil. I have two boards. Uh, no, that's wrong. I, was look <laughs> I wasn't looking at storage at all. I have no boards in there. I know I have boards. I used to take them for food, and someone gave me, like, a ton because I, I was ripping myself off really bad. they got to be in one of these crazy chests. That one's empty. Hmm. In here? No. I know you're here somewhere. Aha! 65 boards. I wonder what will happen if I try to move 65 boards into my inventory. Probably nothing good. I'm going to say nothing good. Oh, man. So moving these boards is going to be a trip. Let's try this. I'm going to pop out this wall here, and we're just going to have to try our chest trick. Uh, and probably, we may even need two chests to make this work. Uh, let's dump this in here. Man, I don't like the way this game is right now. It's so hard to play, like, with this bug. You can't get anything done. Okay, we'll just put this chest... Oh my gosh, I want it to be right there. I think that's close enough. So if we open one inventory, that's the wrong chest. If we open one inventory, move it here, we should be able to get close enough. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Come on, get it. Yes. Whew. Okay, 65 boards. Boom. Right there. Easy. Easy. And then we just got to get them into the anvil. That is going to be no trouble at all, right? Right. That's perfect. Okay. This is going to be an easy day for us. <laughs> Famous last words. So let's put these in the public storage. Actually, I'll put them in private because people have been using my anvil. And, uh-oh, ingots. Where are we at? How many do we have? Five. Crap. Uh, well, all right. We'll move them up here. I think I could get five in my inventory if I just, like, take away, I think, the axe because that weighs one. But I don't really want to risk it either because I'm trying to record a video and if I crash the server, I'll be super sad. So now we have our boards in here and almost enough ingots. 
And once we get that done, we can start making the first the tool shelf, which hopefully won't take that long. And then we can look into a blast furnace. We couldn't get this charcoal at a better time. This is the last of my coal and I'm using it to smelt as much iron as possible because I need it for a lot of projects and people are begging me to fill my store again too. So I'm gonna surprise them for uh, the morning. They'll have their store full. So cool, 10 ingots, plenty of boards. Let's come back into here and make ourselves a smithing tool shelf. Good. Oh, and it's gonna take like no time at all, which is excellent, no surprise, or yeah, no uh, unwarranted holdups or delays or surprises for us. And we will put, where the heck are we going to put this? It's nice because it's going to hang on the wall. So we can actually put this like, that's the anvil. Why, why are you holding an anvil in your hand? What the heck? That's not a tool shelf. That's an anvil. Okay, that's interesting. That Okay, that was a, an unwarranted surprise that may actually cause delays. So, all right. We still have our ingots going. I, I just want to make sure everything's good. Let's try... I want to put the tool shelf right on that wall, the part I didn't bust out. Uh, but let's see. So, can I... Is that really just going to be an anvil? What if I just put it right... Uh, wow. Go right... It won't even, like, cooperate with me. It won't move where I want it to go. R okay, just go there. No? Anywhere. Just place. I made another anvil. Is this literally an anvil? It's a smith. This is the smithing tool shelf. Are you serious? <laughs> well, what kind of cheap game development is this? You couldn't make a, a shelf with some tools on it. Your shelf is just a. You just use the the same thing as the anvil to what? I can't even make. I. <laughs> this this is ridiculous. All right. So now that we made our uh, quote tool shelf. Uh, we're gonna take these bricks and throw them in the anvil. Luckily someone left me some bricks because I might be able to actually start the blast furnace now. And if we go into crafting, we can scroll down, and yes, 9 out of 9 bricks. I, it's like someone was trying to tell me something. <laughs> now the reason I know the blast furnace is what we need next is because it's that steel requires steel working to craft this. That's okay, okay, I'm glad I didn't spend those points. Um, the reason I know it's the blast furnace is because uh, they were kind of like mulling that over in uh, in Discord. They were like, I think we need the blast furnace uh, for that. So that's kind of why I got to jump ahead in that knowledge tree. Unlocks the blast furnace. Metal working. Okay. What? I don't understand. We've unlocked the blast furnace and yet it won't let us build it until we research steel working, which means we need the steel working skill scroll, which means we need to make a trip back to the community center because I did see a steel working skill book in there, which is great. I, I saw it and I thought, oh, I must already have this. But no, I guess not. I guess Biffa got ahead or somebody. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say and assume it was Biffa, because Biffa's trying to get into smithing as well. So that's probably what happened. Biffa made also a steelworking skill book, and I just haven't eaten, a, eaten the scroll yet. You know what I was looking at? It's metalworking. That's what's in here. Uh, oof. So do we have steelworking? That's a good question. Let's slowly but surely jump over all these books here. And, uh, oh, there's smithing. Okay. No, we need steelwork. We have, we have plenty of metalworking research done. But no, I'm not seeing any steel working. That's a shame. Maybe that's where I come in. All right, what do we need? <laughs> I bet you it's a ton of ingots, right? What do we need for steel working now? Uh, it is. It is a bunch of ingots. We need 30 more iron ingots and then 50 bricks. And I, I don't have access to the 50 bricks. That's for sure. I have access to the ingots, but getting them over here is going to take forever. Um, so that's not fun. None of that, what we just discovered, is very fun at all. So, cool. I'm not going to get that in this episode. I can assure you right now, that's not a thing that's going to happen. <laughs> uh, we'll have to coordinate with some people outside of the game and see if we can't get the bricks moved in there. And, uh, from that point, we'll be able to get it researched. But the blast furnace is now just out of our grasp once again. Okay, well, we have some other things we need to attend to anyway. Since we need bricks so bad, I'm going to go ahead and make them worth double what they are usually worth. And hopefully we'll get ourselves enough to just start that research. Because I have the resources to make the ingots. 
I may need to go on a coal hunt now, but that's okay. So there we go. Everyone wanted me to restock my store. It's now restocked. And uh, I am still hoping to add to this thing, by the way. With, with the uh, anvil, we can make a few cool things. But I'm guessing once we get more metalworking stuff, like like the blast furnace and maybe the cement kiln. if, if Well, that's not something I'll make. But uh, once we can get more of these cool, more industrial type tools, we should be able to make really cool stuff. Uh, I'm not, I decided I'm not going to bother trying to make hanging lamps and stuff because they don't provide any light and they just cost precious, precious resources with fuel, uh, tallow being that resource. Uh, I'm hoping charcoal actually go in those lamps. That'd be great. So we're just, we're just kind of a ways off from charcoal, unfortunately, uh, until we can get some bricks. I need, whoever makes bricks on the server needs to start stepping up their game a little bit because I only get exactly what I need and a day after I need it. One thing I was realizing is that Dahl actually is one of the people who can make bricks. So we're going to run down to his house. Look at this. Look at all the roads we got going on. Uh, we're going to run down to his place and see if he has any bricks for sale and what kinds of nonsense he's asking for in exchange for said bricks. Look at this guy. He's using all the bricks to build a house? This is ridiculous. We need these for town projects, and he's just wasting them on... On, on this monstrosity. No, this is actually a really cool house. Uh, let's pop in here and see what he's got going on. Store. Oh, oh goodness. He has three bricks in stock. Uh, they're only worth five points each. So what, what do we have? Like one huckleberry pie would get us all three of those bricks. Hmm, he's taking stone and wood and uh, fences for some reason. Okay, this is actually really not a bad store at all. With the exception of the fact that he only has three bricks that's that's not great what's in here what's going on he's got an anvil up here man this guy is actually um i know he's kidding around before but no really he, he has a really cool house i love what he's got going on these things provide a lot of light and that's nice uh what's down here look at this he's got like windows and a door and man he's making himself his, his own little uh underground mining situation this is crazy cool all right, so we now know that uh, Dahl has bricks for sale, but he's just not stocking them currently. That's okay. Uh, I believe Fox is our other mason, but I'm not sure. I don't know how much of a capitalist Fox is, if he's made a store and uh, what kinds of horrid prices he's bound to have. I'm not sure I've been to this side of town with you guys on camera yet. I always kind of selfishly come here on my own. Uh, today's specials, one huckleberry pie plus two meat pies, 284 skills a day, one sausage, one wild mix, one huckleberry e extract, 368 skills a day. This is to Generic B's house. He's, uh, he's now advertising specials on a sign. That's hilarious. Uh, we, I don't know if we can afford his stuff. We, like, and I'm not saying it's too expensive. Don't, definitely don't tell Generic B his stuff is too expensive. That's the last thing you want to do. No, it's mostly because I just don't have a lot of stuff. Uh, but we could check. Now, I've ventured down here once before. This is really cool. I want to show you guys this. This is actually where Fox lives. And uh, I don't know if this is his only place. When I first saw Fox on the server, he was building a house all the way up on a hill. But no, we come down here. He's got this whole mine, like, checkered out. And it just looks really cool. And uh, what's that? Oh, he has his crafting table going, too. Dang. Okay, so what do we got going on here? I don't see a store. Um, he has some stuff in some chests that I can access because he didn't lock them because he's, uh, well, he's Fox after all. We can't expect him to know it'll, how to lock chests. Uh, ooh. Ask and you shall receive. I can't, mm, I can't do that. I can't just, right? No, I wouldn't do that. But I could ask him. I, I could ask Fox's permission. Maybe I'll do that, but I... I don't know. That would I still need to lug ingots over, and that's going to be the long part. Even if I could take all those bricks right now, I still have to lug ingots all the way from my place to the community center without the help of being able to move things and split the stack. So that's just a whole other issue. I cut away real quick and left a note with Fox. Uh, I, I'm guessing we'll hear back from him sometime tomorrow, and uh, one of us will... If, if he wants to use the bricks for that project, one of us will probably... Uh, you know, lug those over to the community center. Actually, let's go down this road real quick. I was going to go to generic store, but uh, I want to see what else is going on down here. So I think this is one of Wells Knight's many homes. 
Uh, and then I think this might have been Wells Knight's mine. But yeah, another mine. People are building like just nice roads down here, trying to make use of the carts, which can be very buggy. And it looks like uh, <laughs> they're just mining out stone and gold and all kinds of resources. That's awesome. I, like I was saying earlier, I need to go on a field trip and find some coal. It is still around on the server, and you can dig it up, too. But we just need, like, a little bit more to get through the uh, the projects we've got going on. So this road leads to, I'm guessing, Doll's house. Or at least that's the idea. This road leads to nowhere. Uh, so this trip wasn't worth it at all. There wasn't much to see here. Someone's got a dirt shack. That's great. Um, and it looks like Fox is getting back to me already. I can't believe he's awake. All right, he needs some iron ingots in exchange for the bricks. Cool, all right, let's go grab his bricks and uh, tell him he can lug some iron ingots if he wants. We're just fortunate that Fox lives close to the community center. Uh, if there was a cart around, I would just take it and fill it with bricks and drag it all the way up here. It would make my life a whole lot easier, but that's all right. We can just run into the community center five times with hands, hands full of bricks and <laughs> dump them in there. And I think from there, you guys kind of get the idea. You you know where to go from here. We're going to uh, do our best to research uh, steelworking for the next episode. I can't promise anything, though, because I'm, I'm still kind of worried about my ability to get more ingots in here. Uh, I think I'll just need to carefully split them up and uh, just kind of suck it up, you know? It, it sucks, but uh, what I was hoping to do, maybe, before the next episode is enlist the help of someone with a cart and maybe make my life again a little bit easier. But inevitably, I'm just gonna need to stand by my bloomery and split up ingots into stacks of four or five. I think we can get away with five. I just have to empty my inventory more and uh, just ugh, drag them all the way in there. So guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been fun. I will see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below and uh, share it with your friends. I appreciate you guys supporting this series. And uh, I know I've been making this a lot more than Unturned lately, but we're having a lot of fun and we're making a lot of headway, so I'm excited to keep going with it. So yes, next time, steelworking, charcoal, new sources of energy, and then hopefully I'm gonna be a little more freed up to start researching things in, uh, in a more, more dedicated direction. I'm trying to get all the smithing stuff uh, researched for myself as fast as I can and uh, that includes all the efficiencies and everything else to make our life a heck of a lot easier so uh, oh, you know would be really cool if I could lift weights so I wouldn't have to carry just a few things at a time I wish that was something that was a thing in this game but there you go I will see you guys next time peace out